give you praise, Lord. Shandana la masi tebe kola masaya. I give you praise. In that awesome presence of worship, I want you to get your Bibles and go with me to the book of Matthew chapter 21. We want to welcome all of you who are worshiping with us in the church outside the walls. Wherever you are, we, we, we welcome you. And uh, I know God is touching you as he's touching us in this very place. And we ask you to, to get your Bible wherever you are and, uh, and, and go with us into the scriptures so we can all of us be together. Matthew 21, verse, verse 12 to 14. Then Jesus went into the temple of God and drove out all those who brought and sold in the temple and overturned the tables of the money changers and the seats of those who sold doves. Verse 13. And he said to them, It is written, My house shall be called a house of prayer. But you have made it into a den of thieves. Verse 14. Then the blind and the lame came to him in the temple and he healed them. Lord, we want to thank you for your word this morning. Speak to us, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Our word this morning is entitled... House of Prayer. House of Prayer. When people be began to understand God, they began to make for Him places of meeting. Our father Abraham was the first person who believed in God and the first thing he did, he made an altar to a place of meeting with God. Many years later, when the descendants of Abraham were in the wilderness, having come from Egypt, the Lord spoke to Moses to gather building materials from the people and they built what is called a tabernacle. And the tabernacle was a temporary place, a mobile place where they would come and meet so, so from the altars they came to the tabernacle. The tabernacle was mobile. They would dismantle it and carry it and then go and set it somewhere. When they settled now in the promised land a man after God's heart had a desire to build a place 
where people could meet with God. That, that was David. He didn't build it, but his son Solomon built it. So they built a permanent house like this. And now they had a temple. So they began with the altars. They came to the tabernacle. Then they came to the temple. Up the time when Jesus came on earth, they had a temple. It was a place where people met with God. The glory was God, the glory of God was in the temple. And the temple had three portions. The outer place for everybody. The inner place. Or the holy place where the priests offered, offered sacrifices. The holy of holies where the ark of the covenant was and the high priest would go there only once in a year. So we began with the altars. We came to the tabernacle. We came to the temple. Praise the Lord. Amen. By the time Jesus came, yes, the temple was still in use. Until the day when he went to the cross. And when he went to the cross, the Bible says, as he was dying at the cross, the, the, the curtain in the temple was, was, was cut into two. And the glory of God was no longer in the temple. God left the temple. And from that point, He no longer lives in temples. He lives in the hearts of men. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. And so our hearts Amen. become the temple of God. Amen. The temple was a place of prayer. Now our heart becomes the house of prayer. Praise the Lord. So I'm talking about the house of prayer I mean you. I don't mean this building anymore. For the Bible says, in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16 to 17, chapter 3, verse 16 to 17, it says, do you not know that you are the temple of God and that the spirit of God dwells in you. So if anyone defines the temple of God, God will destroy him. For the temple of God is holy. Which temple you are? Praise the Lord. First, Corinthians chapter, chapter 6 verse 18 and 19. First, Corinthians chapter 6 verse 18 and 19. It says, flee, from, flee sexual immorality. Every sin that a man does is outside the body. But he who commits sexual immorality sins against his own body. Or do you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you? Whom you have from God. And you are not your own. I'll give you one more last scripture. Second Corinthians chapter 6. Verse 16. Verse 16. 
Second Corinthians 6 verse 16. And what agreement has the temple of God with idols? For you are the temple of the living God. As God has said, I will dwell in them and walk among them. I will be their God. They shall be my people. Glory be to God. Amen. So the temple is no longer just a building. The temple is our body. This is the house of God. And this is the house that Jesus said, my house shall be called a house of prayer. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. 